Hi, this is Tim from Tiger Astronomy, and I'm right at the point in the project I'm working on where I'm about to create an ASCOM driver. The it's actually a dome driver, and uh, if we look at my the structure of my project, it is this guy here. Um, that is actually not all of it. Let me just zoom out slightly. There we go. So this is how my driver looks, and so this bit's done. This bit is the reactive communications library, which I use in all my drivers. And uh, this part is kind of present, but not done. Um, but in order to work on this, I really need the ASCOM driver part uh, to be present in the solution. So because I do this rather differently to how the instructions would tell you how to do it, I thought I would record this um, because it might be interesting for some people. So um, given that the ASCOM driver part here is really only a very thin shell over the top of the all the all this other code. So the um, the device interface layer is kind of contained in this client connection manager here. The dome driver will obtain a copy of that and hold a reference to it. And the server, the ASCOM server here has this shared resources class, which is how these guys, how the driver communicates with all the rest of the system. So the server, this is the, the, the executable, if you like, and is the composition route for the whole driver. And this is just the ASCOM dome driver is really just a tiny thin veneer, which just exists only to implement the iDome v2 interface and because of that you don't need all the baggage that the templates will give you which were designed in the old days when drivers were in process dlls and needed self-registration and a load of other they needed to manage settings and all that stuff well the settings are down here in the in the local server now so that's none of that's a problem and it just isn't needed for the driver so if we park that and look at the solution in Visual Studio you can see here I've got the device interface project I've got the server this is the local server project I've got some shared code and shared types and I've got my unit test project here so I'm going to create from scratch the ASCOM driver project and so it's file new project I'm not going to use the ASCOM template and this is where I diverge significantly from the officially documented technique you might say so um, that's come up on my other screen let's uh, switch over to that okay so I'm using Visual Studio 2019 preview and I'm going to use a class library because uh, I'm making a DLL so it's going to be class library based on the .NET framework and it's going to be based on .NET 4.7.2 which is the latest version currently available and this is going to be part of the next home driver uh, so we're going to call that ASCOM Dome and that's going to go in with the rest of the files in the solution so we create that and okay so what we have is this class one.cs which uh, nobody ever uses so uh, we'll get rid of that away it goes and we're going to we're going to generate a and class so okay we're going to call this uh, dome.cs uh, just like that dome implements idome v2 which is the ascom interface idome v2 doesn't exist but if we pop up the resharper tip, it's saying it wants me to install ascom.platform NuGet package. Now, this is another way I differ from the published instructions. So what you would normally do at this point 
is go into references you would add a reference and i wish these things would stay on the same screen there we go and you would go into assemblies extensions and here you've got the ascom stuff so you would reference ascom dot device interfaces and you could do that and it would work but what you're doing is in doing that is taking an implicit dependency on your local machine in that now this project will only build if the ascom platform is installed now for most people this probably won't be an issue but um i have at various times used build servers and i it's desirable to be able to build the project without having ascom installed so i created this new get package ascom.platform which just contains all those assemblies from the ascom platform and um, <coughs> you can just install the new get package um and not have to worry about having the ascom platform installed and as you can see well that's still gone red um over on my over on my actually you've seen that happening because all the ascom stuff has come in here and these are coming now out of the new get package which means i can ship this solution off to another machine do a new get restore and this will all appear and work and i don't have to have the ascom platform installed um it's interesting that the i've still got a red underline under all this but i think if i click on that now um implement oh implement missing members because i have to actually implement the interface okay so let's do that and resharper says these are the things and you, you'll notice these are all the properties and methods from the idome interface so uh make properties mutable implement as public member um yeah let's automate let's just take all the defaults finish okay so that's filling out the interface for me and now i have implementations of all the ascom properties and methods even though they, they all just do nothing at this point um now there's a couple of other things here um we because this is going to be a local server based driver it's not enough just to implement the interface you have, you have to inherit from reference counted object base which is provided in the local server so what we have to do is add another reference add reference to the project which contains the server and um while i'm at it probably shared types okay and that should allow me to inherit from reference reference counted object there it is in the server time so there we go reference counted object in the code there so in the other screen here um one thing i like to do now with all my projects there's um microsoft introduced a new project file format recently which differs in how it handles references and you can either use you notice down here i've got a packages.config file which is the nuget um shows what nuget packages are installed and uh, at the moment you can just see it's ascom.platform um but there is now a new file format which is you can use this migration option here migrate packages.config to package reference and the reason for doing that is that it has better support for transitive packages i.e if you reference another project which references a new get package then that all flows through and works just kind of better that way 
So we'll do that. And you will see that these will convert to different icons in here. And there we go. So now the ASCOM platform has a NuGet icon. Okay. And if I reference other projects such as shared types and the server, if they then in turn reference any new get packages, then that, that all flows through the system transitively and you don't have to explicitly add them. Um, so that's just a really a, a uh, digression. Um, now, there's a couple of things that a ASCOM, in, an ASCOM driver needs in terms of attributes on the class. And probably the easiest way to get that is to, um, let's look at the right screen, rather the left screen. And uh, I'm going to open another driver. I'm going to open my digital DomeWorks driver, which is um, what I'm using as a reference. And we, here we go. So here is my dome class and here are the attributes we need to have. So I'm just going to copy those from that driver, minimize VS code, go into here and paste them in. Now we need to import all the things we just referenced. And uh, ReSharper makes that really easy. It's just one click, as you see, and it all came in. And we need to change this grid because that's that's the grid for the other project, and that's no good. So um, ReSharper has a nice function for doing that. You just type in grid tab, and there we go. We get a new grid, and I'm going to pick... Uh, yeah, this one here. I can't remember. Did that have braces on? No, let's undo that. Yeah, no, it didn't have braces on. So redo. And there's our new grid. Okay. Com visible is true. The reason I the reason I do that here is because in my assembly info.cs I leave com visible false and I'm also going to remove all the versioning information from here. That will be done a different way. Oops. Okay. And quite likely, uh, do I have a global assembly info? Um, no, I don't. Okay. So let's um, just leave that as it is for now. Um, versioning will be done different way. Now we've got we've got another grid here. This will be already unique because it was generated by the uh, file new project. But that is the type lib of the project. But actually, we don't. I'm I'm fairly confident in saying we don't need that. So I'm going to delete that. Ascom drivers are late bound, so they don't require a type lib. If you have one, that can lead you down a path that you don't want to go down. So um there we go all right so it's easier to delete code than to add it so that's nice um this is correct this is all correct this is all correct shared resources stone driver name right so um the served class name is for the local server and that allows um the local server process to discover the driver when it loads the device id here is to do with settings and that probably isn't needed but we'll leave that alone uh, for now and take it away later if we don't need it so um basically we now have and i know this is building because um over on my right screen i've got the ncrunch risk progress bar here wait a minute I've got the ncrunch risk progress bar here, which is which is all green, which tells me my project's building and my unit tests are all passing. If we look in the ncrunch tests window here, um, 
we can see that the let's display da -da -da -dum, test harness but server there we go the server project build successful okay so I, we know that's a successful build at this point so we basically have an ascom driver done i'm going to run a code cleanup on that because it's got a lot of unnecessary stuff and um there we go and um it's, it's got still got an unnecessary reference code cleanup doesn't seem to want to take away so that's it that's my that's the way i start my ascom driver and that's nice and clean there's no clutter or baggage in there and that's enough for the local server to discover and be able to load when it needs to okay so that's it that's all i wanted to uh all i wanted to show i've been tim from tiger astronomy thanks for watching and goodbye.